City Transformer One of the biggest problems people face in big cities is the eternal lack of parking spaces. The car you see on the screen is designed to solve this problem. The electric car City Transformer is able to fold. The vehicle has two important features. First, the car takes up very little space, and second, it can pass through places where any other vehicle would get stuck. This car was first showcased last year, making an impressive and memorable appearance during the presentation. The City Transformer arrived in a 1.2 meter wide elevator. In its default state, the car is 2.3 meters long and 1.4 meters wide. When folded, the width of the car does not exceed 1 meter. It can comfortably accommodate two people who can travel at speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour. Klassen Mercedes V-Class Limousine At first glance, the main feature of this car is its ability to stretch, increasing in size. However, this model also has a huge number of other remarkable features. But let's start from the beginning. When the Mercedes-Benz V-Class Limousine minibus appeared on the market for the first time, it immediately gained popularity and established itself as a luxury vehicle. This model has become a favorite among specialists from the German tuning company Klassen. The limousine you see on the screen has been modified. In terms of comfort, it almost matches private jets. Inside, there's a huge flat screen monitor, a built-in PlayStation 4, a multimedia system, folding tables, a fridge, a coffee machine, and much more. And of course, if necessary, this minibus becomes bigger for the comfort of all the passengers. Submarine Car If this car looks familiar, then you've probably been a fan of James Bond movies. Because a very similar model, the Lotus Esprit, starred in the movie The Spy Who Loved Me. That car, however, was not designed for underwater driving and had no air tightness. The Lotus Excel, on the other hand, is the first fully functional submarine car. This unique model was designed by Richard Hammond. The Top Gear host decided to test whether it was possible to recreate the legendary James Bond car. The model is equipped with retractable rear dive planes. To ensure the safety of the passengers underwater, the cabin is insulated with an additional layer of fiberglass. The glass has been replaced with aviation-grade plastics. They used an interesting system to create ballast by filling the tires with concrete. The last interesting feature is the sonar. On the road, the car is driven by the steering wheel like any other vehicle. But when the Lotus Excel is underwater, special control levers come into use. The submarine car was built to celebrate the 50th anniversary of James Bond's cars. Stella Lux and Stella V Inexhaustible energy sources are one of the main trends of our time. Solar energy technology is being implemented in all spheres of our lives, and cars are no exception. A few years ago, a group of students from the Eindhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands managed to create a family car powered by solar energy. The creators call their brainchild the car of the future, and the official name of the model is Stella Lux. The presentation of this amazing invention took place in 2015. 
Stellar Lux can be simultaneously used by four people. It took about a year to develop this alternative car. The solar panel installed in the roof is about six square meters in size and acts as a source of energy. The battery provides at least a 1,000 kilometer ride. The maximum speed of Stellar Lux is 125 km per hour. The car weighs only 375 kilograms. It was specially designed to be light and aerodynamic. However, experts did not stop there. And in 2017, the world saw an updated model, the Stellar V. The new model has a similar design but fits up to five people inside. It's noteworthy that the Stellar V has fewer solar panels on the roof than its predecessor. However, that doesn't affect the technical and operational characteristics. The car still drives up to a thousand kilometers on one battery charge. The developers just taught the vehicle to use energy more efficiently. It's noteworthy that the length of the car was increased to 5 meters, but the width was reduced to 1.65 meters. Stella V developed speeds of up to 130 kilometers per hour. BW1 the design of golf carts was the same for a very long time, and for some reason, no one thought about improving it and making it more comfortable, until Bubba Watson of Neoteric Hovercraft invented the golf cart of the future. He created an amazing vehicle that uses special air cushions instead of wheels. The golf car was built in one copy to shoot an Oakley commercial. However, what was originally conceived as a fun idea for advertising has attracted the attention of golf enthusiasts from around the world. Therefore, we do not rule out the possibility that in the near future, a BW1 will be produced in real life. A remarkable feature of this golf cart is that it doesn't need special transport routes. BW1 moves on water, grass and sand equally quickly. At the same time, it's worth noting that this vehicle doesn't damage the lawn, which is important when it comes to golf. The maximum speed of the BW1 is 72 km per hour. Airfish 8 A ground effect vehicle, or GEV, is a high-speed vehicle designed to fly by making use of ground effect. In other words, it flies at relatively low altitudes, above water, earth, snow or ice, because the surface has shielding properties. The wing's lifting power and the other aerodynamic characteristics of the aircraft increase dramatically. The vehicle you see on the screen was built using patents and technologies from airfoil development. It's considered to be one of the pioneers in the construction of ground effect vehicles. Airfish 8 was developed by specialists from Widget Works and is a small GEV. Airfish 8 will be used to transport VIP passengers in Singapore. Only eight passengers can fit on board, as well as two crew members. However, the advantage of the vehicle is that Airfish 8 moves three times faster than a typical short-distance vehicle. Another feature is that the device doesn't need any additional facilities for takeoff and landing, only open water space. The cruising speed of this GEV is 150 km per hour, and it can travel for up to 555 km.